hi everyone welcome to my channel i am timmy banjo and if it's your first time here welcome to the family kindly hit the subscribe button so you become an official member of the family hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up because i have put work into this video so please show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and if you're interested in my keto meals make sure you keep on watching So now that we're here, have you given this video a thumbs up? If you haven't, give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any of my uploads. And today, I am showing you guys keto meals. This is what I eat on a regular day and that doesn't mean I eat this like morning, afternoon, night. I just wanted to put in so many meals as I could, as much as I could. And for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to put a lot of meals. So I'm sharing with you guys what I eat from a day to day and also i would like for you guys to follow my socials that's my instagram handle because i also have tons and tons of videos i share there and i have like a dedicated um tab for two dedicated tabs for keto recipes where i showcase my keto meals and so many recipes that i that do not make it here i showcase them on my instagram so make sure you follow my social um, media handle that's my instagram and also my twitter so you do not miss any of my meals and like the prepping of my meals and all that good stuff okay so let's jump right into the main the main video so i have red um yellow green and orange bell peppers here i also have some chopped onions and hot dog or sausages whichever one you call it and also some minced garlic i have here also pork minced pork and this is what I'm going to use to make egg fiesta or egg frittata as some people may call it. I'm going to be using this frying pan and I'm using this one because it's small so my egg you know has height if you understand what I mean. And also four eggs. So I'm going to heat up this pan now and add some oil to the pan. My mistake here was that I didn't use butter and the correct butter or fats I was supposed to use for this keto meal is supposed to be butter not oil but my dad also had some of this so you know I just decided to use this oil. So I'm going to fry the pork here in the oil and just you know pieces it so it's all scattered in the pot then i'm going to add the sausages and the reason why i am frying this first is because i wanted this one to be kind of dry and fried and i don't know how to explain it but i didn't want it to be soggy so i had to fry this first so it's like really done and kind of dry so i added my garlic to the pork and also some cameroon pepper I also added my um, sausages or hot dogs so everything you know is fried like I mentioned I don't like my meat to be I don't know if I should call it undone but I like it being like really hard and fried into like inside inside I don't know if you understand what I'm saying either so now I'm pouring in all my vegetables my bell peppers my onions and everything I chopped earlier I'm pouring them into the pan I'm just going to mix this up on low heat caution low heat because you don't want to overcook your vegetables so I am cooking this on low heat So after mixing that generously, I'm going to break my eggs so that I can whisk it and add it to my frying vegetables and I'm going to break 4 eggs now. I'm going to add some salt and some pepper to this so it has like its own flavor on its own. I mean like the spice on for the eggs stands out. So I'm going to add pepper because <laughs> I love heat and I love the heat so much. So when I'm done whisking this, I'm going to transfer this to the vegetables cooking and I wouldn't let it cook at all on the fire. Immediately I transfer 
convert this to my vegetables i'm going to pop it inside the oven straight away so i just poured this and you know spaced out the vegetables um with the eggs so everything is evenly distributed so after i'm done with that i'm just going to pop this in the oven right away to bake so when you're baking this i preheated my oven for 10 minutes on i think 150 degrees I don't know i'll check please <laughs> i'm not so good with that um calculation so this was in the oven for about 30 minutes you can let it sit for about 40 if you want and here it is done i did my fork in it and it was fine came out clean and you can cut this in any shape you want <laughs> this looks nothing like egg frittata it looks like pizza <laughs> okay it looked like pizza so pizza <laughs> so you can cut this into any shape you want and i just cut it into quadrants so i'm going to serve one for myself and this is so filling because it's filled with beef filled with um, sorry pork it's filled with sausages filled with um, bell peppers and obviously my egg so i'm having this with them um, bulletproof coffee and i'm using this hundred cows butter i got from the mall um i think i showed you guys where i got this from in my keto shopping like keto grocery shopping video i'll leave that in the card if you haven't seen that video so please check it out where i got it from how much it was and all the details you need to know so i just added coffee to my butter and some hot water and as soon as i added the hot water the butter melted in it so just give this a good whisk and that's all So here is my amazing and filling breakfast i had this egg frittata with um avocado pie because i do not like to joke with my fat and one thing i learned on this particular journey of my keto diet is do not joke with your fat that is what will sustain you give you energy and make you feel all round so please don't joke with your fats okay so for brunch i'm going to have this leftover catfish pepper soup i'm just going to heat this up nothing serious nothing you know special about this you guys know this is my staple so i'm just going to heat this up and when it's hot i'm going to serve this and have this for brunch just in the meantime while i do some paperwork i can you know see something to munch on and sip on at the same time so i have a lot about four videos of how to make catfish pepper soup if you want to check it out i'll leave about two in the card so do make sure you check that out and learn how to make catfish pepper soup and also i have a video on goat's meat pepper soup if you don't like to have catfish so for lunch i'm having eggplant amala hey eggplant amala is <laughs> almost a staple with my keto diet but you know the stress that comes with making it just you know puts me off sometimes but whenever i think of how i'm going to just you know swallow it with draw soup either a widow or okra i get my energy back so i have made this previously in my keto video like nigerian keto meals if you haven't seen it i will also leave that in the card so you can check it out i'm just going to dice this up um into fine or tiny bits and then pour some water and boil so it can get soft So after boiling this is the kind of consistency i'm looking for really soft and like almost eatable like this but i wouldn't eat it like this some people use this to make porridge pap ice cream you can do different things with it but here i'm going to blend this up and once i'm done blending i will go for a consistency that looks like a paste something like this here that you can see a paste or a puree form 
and i'm going to transfer this back into the pot so i can start mixing this up and start making my amala please do not throw the um, water that you used to boil your um what's it called eggplant amala don't throw it away because you might want to add some into the amala while you are mixing it so i'm just going to mix this up and add some xylem husk to my amala and xylem husk is a is a keto compliant fiber that acts as a binder for your um swallows if you are african and you like to have swallows you are not left out in the keto diet so Asylum husk is fiber. If you want to know more about it, check my um, keto diet haul. Keto haul, like where I was just showcasing all that I got for my keto diet. I'll leave that in the card for you to check it out. So you can see the consistency of this amala has changed once I put the asylum husk and I continuously mixed it. So I have a consistency of like a very, very soft amala. So this is pretty much done. I'm going to serve this up with um this soup that was in the freezer i just left it there and i said you know what i will come back for you and i'm coming back with my 30 billion gang <laughs> okay so i'm having this with ogbono mixed with okra hmm. the drawness the drawiness i don't even know what to call it of this soup was on another level i fell in love hmm. so i'm serving this up with my soup and amala and guys this was amazing it was so sweet and you can see my soup had so many con um obstacles in it it had pomo it had goat's meat it had um fish it had everything in it anything you could think of so here is my lunch guys then for dinner i'm having ice i don't know whether i should call this ice cream yogurt a smoothie I'm using this coconut milk and you can see the back it's keto compliant one net carb and one gram of sugar so yeah don't even bother about that sugar because I don't even taste anything in this so I'm pouring this into my blender now so I'm going to make this with um, strawberries I have washed strawberries that's about four of it and i'm going to add a little bit of stevia please do not go too hard or too much on your stevia just a little i use half of that pack you are seeing there because if you put too much of stevia in whatever you're making you're going to have aftertaste which you wouldn't like so i added some ice also and some flaxseed i was supposed to add a pinch of cinnamon to this but i forgot so i'm not going too much or too hard with the flaxseed because i'm still going to add flaxseed at the end of this so i blended it up and this was what i got so please Please, can you help me name this i call this keto strawberry yogurt on my story and people were wondering hmm, what is this so please if you can help me name this particular um drink so i'm adding coconut flakes that i made also on my instagram story that's why i said you should follow my handle so that you see how i prep some of these meals and almost everything that doesn't make it here on youtube they are on my instagram stories so please check out my instagram and do make sure you follow me so i added chai seed chia seeds rather and some flax seeds that's why i didn't go too crazy with the um, flax seed when i was blending so here is my <laughs> i don't know what you guys are going to name me please let me know in the comment section so this is pretty much pretty much what i have on a regular day so thank you guys for watching Alright everyone, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you really learned something. <laughs> I mean, I tried my best to put in so many meals into this video and hopefully I'll be able to create more recipes so that I can, you know, dish it out to you guys. So thank you so much for sticking around with me and I do not want you to leave. Make sure you continue sticking around with me by checking out my other videos and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you made it up to this point, if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next one all right so let's go